сейчас в Стрелковом. Это Крым. Здесь есть интересные родники, глицериновые, горячая вода, каскадный душ, болото полезное, короче. Другими словами, приезжайте, здесь очень интересно, поэтому давайте вперед! Greetings from Ukrainian control Crimea. So you can see a few guys probably fishing there. We're right at the point where Ukrainian soldiers are actually stationed on the road. I didn't want to film there because probably they're going to stop me filming. But basically we're on the Arabatskaya Strelka, which is a small, tiny sliver of land called a spit, is the geographical term. And it is probably, I mean, I just guessed by looking at the map, probably about 1% of the territory of Crimea that is still under Ukrainian control. Uh, you're probably aware that in 2014, Russia annexed Crimea and they actually controlled this little sliver of territory as well at the time. The Russian forces withdrew further down the spit. Uh, about 15 kilometers further down the spit is technically where the de facto border is, but already uh, there are Ukrainian soldiers with a checkpoint on the road so we can't actually go any further than here so we're a good bit away actually but as you can see uh crimea it's pretty sweet basically as a westerner if i want to go on further well actually no one can cross apparently the border here the de facto border but even if i wanted to go crimea the other way and not allowed to just cross in I need permission from the Ukrainian side, then the Russians are going to ask me for a Russian visa because they claim it's Russia and I need a visa to go to Russia. So basically it's going to be a lot of complications, not worth trying to do that, especially if you are a vlogger and you have a camera where everything's going to be documented. So anyways, let's go and see what we can do on the Ukrainian uh, part, the Ukrainian controlled part of Crimea. Bye. Как тебя чувствуешь, Анжела? Yeah. I think this would be a cool place in winter. I think this is probably the time to come where it's maybe even snow uh, outside on the ground and then you come here to the hot springs. A little bit like what I've had in say, Iceland, obviously at the famous Blue Lagoon. There's no blue here. Yeah, it's super hot actually when you get close to it. That's the hot water. That is scorching. But otherwise, it's just pleasant. Пойдем первый раз, да? Ага, да, тут Что ты думаешь? Подобается, но очень сумно, даже что мы не можем поехать дальше. So one of the lesser talked about casualties of the Russian annexation of Crimea was my favorite music festival in the region, Kazan Tip, because after annexation, well, it was never held again, uh, at least in, in here in this region in either Ukraine or Russia. They moved it, they tried a few times to put it in other countries, didn't really work, and it seems to have been disbanded completely. And this summer, I spotted on Instagram that a new music festival started in the area. I'm here in Inichis Kirka just to the beginning of the Arabat Spit and Wave Festival is maybe not really cousin tip but it is a little bit like Burning Man so let's get dressed up and go and check out the festival. 
Поехали! Just here for the sunset opening night of Wave Festival. Gonna be some good vibes, sunset time. <laughs> So welcome to Birucci Island. We're just off the coast from Hinichiska Hirka, uh, Hinichesk, and this is quite a hidden gem. A little bit similar to a place I went last year, which is known as U uh, Ukrainian Maldives, Jarl Hatch, on the other side of the Crimean Peninsula, also under Ukrainian control. Here we took a boat out about half an hour, and you just have basically this pristine wildlife reserve. There are some deer in there, although we didn't see any so far. And you just have some clean water, which is quite unusual in Ukraine. If you've been to the Black Sea, say in Odessa, you know, the water is not the cleanest in most parts, but here out in the wild, it's a lot cleaner and a nice relaxing place to come to for a few hours for sure, or maybe stay overnight. Pretty good. What do you think this place? I Тут можно покупаться, и здесь нету очень много людей, это заповедная зона. Да, 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 и еще, если сюда будете приезжать, мусор после себя убираем все. Да, если нет, у нас тут эко-талабанка, да, эко-террориста, да, Анжела будет стрелать с тебя, если что, да. Це мій перший раз, коли я знаходжуся в Криму. А, все, зараз. Чому а, твій перший раз тут? Тому що коли Росія забрала Крим в Україну, від України, то я ще навчалася в школі і я ніколи не була в Криму. Це мій перший раз. Я відчуваю, що це наша територія і тільки. Більше нічого. А ти думаєш, що ем, ситуація добра? Я вважаю, що ситуація в будь-якому випадку не добра, тому що будь-яка країна не може себе так вести по відношенню до іншої країни. Це територія України, і Крим майже ніхто в світі не признає як територію Росії. Всі признають Крим як територію України. Тільки Росія думає, що це їхня територія. У світі всі думають навпаки. Так, так, так. Между... И я тоже думаю, что Крым — это территория только Украины. Цар Экспириенс.